Hello there, Mad Mike here, and welcome back to the channel for video number three. And I think I've seen what I would describe as high quality, weird, furry, other kin porn. Um, I just watched the trailer for the movie adaptation of the Broadway play Cats, and I have very many questions. None of them have to do with the plot of the film. None of them have to do with anything involving the dancing or the choreography. I want to know whose bright idea it was to turn a play about cats that's been on Broadway for probably since before I was born and turn it into a movie, and literally make it the movie that every furry and other kin will jerk off to. This is just weird. I mean, it, it the look is just weird. Like, if you were going to do this, maybe do it in an animated format. Maybe do it, you know, do the CGI cats or something like that, but don't make them look like people. Just have actors give voices to them, you know, so it's somewhat normal, so they actually are cats. Because when they're acting on stage in Broadway, they're supposed to be portraying actual cats that can, you know, talk and stuff. But they're, they're supposed to be cats, not weird human-cat hybrids that people, you know, do weird cosplay of on Tumblr. Um, this, this entire trailer feels creepy as hell. I'm sorry, seeing Judy Dench and James Corden, of all people, which is weird, uh, Idris Elba, I, I would actually like to know how much money they had to pay him in order to have his dignity. Uh, and I would also like to know uh, if any of these actors, since it's obviously CGI, I would like to know if any of these actors uh, were actually able to to see the final product of them with the CGI cat bodies. Because uh, if they did, and they, they approved of that, um, I don't know what drugs you're on. Um, I don't want them, because I feel like drawing that far away from reality is not just terrifying, but possibly hazardous for your health. I feel like you'd walk out into the middle of traffic and try and hug a fire engine that's careening towards you, but, um, this is weird. This, this is very, very weird. Um, I don't know any other way to describe it other than strange. And again, the imagery reminds me of, you know, l look, when you do stuff in animation, it is a lot different than doing stuff in live action. And when you do stuff, uh, in animation, you can get away with a certain amount. Uh, you know, I could equate something to, like, Thundercats, which is something I used to watch when I was a kid. Now, you know, it was kind of the same idea, but it was animated. You can kind of get around that it. it was the 80s, certain things worked, certain things didn't. This does not work, because nowadays, furries exist. And other kin. And for those of you who don't know what that is, furries are people that dress up in mascot outfits and fuck each other. Other kin are people that actually believe they are animals and identify as such. Even animals that do not exist, like dragons. Um, and they demand to be identified as said animal. Uh, this, this is their movie, for lack of a better term. If you are a furry or another kin, you're going to go and see this movie, which ultimately means that most normal people are probably not going to because the entire theater is going to be filled of uh, freaky people in mascot outfits and body paint, uh, probably dry humping each other. This is, um, I don't, I just want to know how much money they dumped into this CGI because it is so cringy and weird. And if they dumped you know, look, if you dumped a hundred million dollars into the CGI for this movie, it could have gone to so many better things. It could have gone to feeding children in Africa, or, uh, 
you know, setting up homeless shelters or, or building chapels in third world countries uh, or drilling wells in areas where there's no water um, or they don't have access to it. You know, you could have used that money for a number of really good things, but instead you chose to use that money to turn celebrities uh, into freaky, furry, cat-human hybrids. Yeah, so I'm not even going to go over like anything involving the visuals of the trailer besides the weird cat human hybrids because that's really all this is about um i wasn't going to do a video on this originally uh because i didn't think there was enough substance to it and i kind of just i knew the trailer was coming out today i just kind of ignored it and then somebody posted it on the discord that i'm on and i watched the trailer and i'm like holy god i need to get these thoughts out on some kind of a wavelength because this this is this is going to haunt me. This this is just weird. Um, I'm not gonna link the trailer below because I don't think you should watch this because uh, it's just weird. Uh, if you do want to watch it, be my guest uh, and remember to if you have any thoughts on this, put them in the comments. Uh, Hit the bell for notifications, hit the like button, subscribe, and remember, I live my life free of compromise. Don't turn celebrities into furries.